A steam car gets ready for a record attempt, a hardtop roadster appears in London, an insider's dish on BMW and Porsche. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Derek D. It's Monday, and you're checking out Fast Lane Daily. Today's Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Factory, Spike's first original comedy, Sundays at 10 p.m. What comes from England looks like the Batmobile and can make 10.5 gallons of oolong tea per minute. It's the British steam car. Popular Mechanics says the stealth-like steamer is loaded up for a trip to the Bonneville Salt Flats. That's where it'll attempt to break the world steam car speed record. But don't expect Mach 1. The 88-year-old international steam record is 127.66 miles per hour. The British team says the steam car's target speed is 170, around the same as a stock Porsche Boxster. In other news, President McKinley denies allegations the U.S. annexed Hawaii to corner the ukulele market. And if you're in London next week and get tired of congestion charges, cheap curry, and getting your wallet nicked, head on over to the British Motor Show. There you can check out the new IFR Aspid. It's not just a caterum with a roof. The Aspid is the product of race engineer Ignacio Fernandez Rodriguez, who says the Aspid combines track day agility with the luxury and refinement one would expect in a somewhat luxurious covered roadster with T-tops. Power from the Aspid's 2.0-liter 4 will accrue to the rear wheels via a 6-speed manual gearbox and limited slip diff. If you want one, it'll cost around 75,000 pounds to start. And if you have to ask 75,000 pounds of what, you can't get one anyway. Japan's Topia calls it its new single-seat electric car concept HUVO. That's Japanese for imaginary friend. No, it isn't. But it does stand for a high-tech person mover with enough pod space for a solo driver. Its lightweight of 330 pounds comes from its diminutive size and novel use of lightweight materials. The frame is steel plate, the door is aluminum alloy, the roof carbon fiber reinforced plastic, and the windshield polycarbonate. No word on the company's production plans, but insiders say it'll make its debut in Lonely Town. What's the latest on the Porsche Panamera? And is BMW planning a new 3 Series CSL? You know you want to know. Well, that's in the internet room mill, and you're going to find out right after this. Shots carpeting the internet, Porsche's upcoming Panamera may be the worst kept secret in the history of cars. But Auto Week says new details are emerging even as the test models continue to roll. Word is Porsche is considering a target top for its new four door coupe. That, Auto Week says, suggests Porsche may be holding to a similar model strategy as its 911 range. The same report hints that Porsche is also considering a Panamera diesel. That car, they say, could be powered by one of Audi's TDI power plants. Among those are Audi's high-performance 6-liter TDI V12, producing 500 horsepower and a titanic 737 pounds-feet of torque. Porsche refused to comment on Targa or diesel versions of the Panamera, which is expected to debut at the 2009 Frankfurt Auto Show. And Germany's Auto Zeitung says a more potent, lighter BMW M3 is on the way. The pricey track-ready M3 CSL won't be ready until 2010, but it will come with a weight-saving carbon fiber body and a few design changes from the current M3. Performance will be geared toward road racing, but the CSL will get from 0 to 60 in a fairly respectable 4.5 seconds. That wraps up Fast Lane Daily for Monday. I'm Derek D. and my ride's here. It's time for a shave. Ugh.